But they never ask you how he was built or anything like that? No, sir. Well, when you went, you went to the police station where they took the affidavit, right? Yes, sir. And when you were there, did they ever ask you anything else about Oswald, about whether he was tall or short? Uh, yes, sir, they asked me that. And you yes. said he was short, huh? Yes, sir, he is short. He was short. He was short. And they asked you if he was thin or heavy, and you said he was a little on a heavy side? He was, uh, well, not too heavy. I'd say around 100, maybe 150. So yeah. Well, did you say he was just, he wasn't too heavy, but he was a little heavy? Mm-hmm. You did say that? I did identify him in the lineup. Yeah. And did you say that the man who shot, did you tell the officers that the man who shot Tippett had bushy hair? Uh, no, I did not. Uh, but you, but he did have bushy hair, you said, just a little bushy. Well, what, you wouldn't say it hadn't been combed, you know, or anything. Yeah. Of course, uh, he'd probably been through a lot, and it was kind of tore blue. Mm -hmm. Yes. About how far were you from uh, uh, the car when it first stopped? Uh, I was across, across the street. Just across the street? He was on uh, Caddy Corner. Caddy Corner. I was, yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, what corner were you standing at? On the corner of 10th and Patton. 10th and Patton. And was there anybody else present at that time? No, sir. So you were the only witness to the shooting uh, of Officer Tippett? I was the only one out in the open at that time. Well, do you know now if there was anybody else who saw what happened? Uh, no, I, I, I don't know of anyone. Because uh, there was no one there but me and Mr. And I also Mr. Tippett when yeah. I saw him. Did you see which direction this man, Oswald, or whoever it is who shot the Officer Tippett, did you see which direction he came from? Yes, sir. He was going towards, uh, he was coming from them. You know where Sangs is? He was coming up 10th Street going to Marcellus, going towards Marcellus. Toward Marcellus, huh? Yes. Sir. Coming up 10th Street. He was on 10th Street when you saw him. Yes, sir. I see. Was anyone else in the police car with Officer Tippett? Uh, no, sir. Do you know which direction Officer Tippett's car was coming from? Yes, sir. It was coming up 10th going to Marcellus. But in the same direction? Yes, sir. Uh, in other words, but who, who, but which car, which, who was in front, Oswald or Tippett? Oswald. Who was in front of the other? Uh, Oswald. Oswald was in front. Yes, sir. Well, do you have any idea how Oswald knew that the car was there behind him? Because he was facing the same direction the car was coming. Ah, uh, right? no, I don't know. He, you know, Mr. Tippett just pulled over. Yeah. And, and then Oswald turned around? Well, when uh, Mr. Tippett stopped in the police car. Yes. Well, of course, he just walked, you know, went over to the car. I he, wasn't, see. he wasn't angry. He was he not didn't, angry. He didn't look angry. He it, didn't, you know, it's like he was angry. I just thought it was a friendly conversation. Do you notice which hand Oswald held the pistol in? The right. You're sure it was in the right hand? Positive. Yeah. How many shots were fired, or just one shot? Three. You heard all three shots fired? Yes. And uh, what did you do then, after the shooting was over? Well, I, I did, couldn't do anything. I froze. You froze? Yes. And how long would you say you stayed there? About, uh... Two minutes, I imagine, and I looked up and Oswald was coming towards me. He was going toward you? Yes, sir. And what'd you do? I just put my hands over my face and still stood there. And then he... Closed my eyes. Did he walk past you? No, sir. He took... Uh, he, uh... He's in the front of me. Yeah. And he ran. And I took my hands off my face. And, and you, I knew he was going to shoot me. And did you stay right there? No, sir. What'd you do then? Before he could uh, get out of sight, I went to Mr. Tippett. You went to Mr. Tippett? Yes, I did. Yeah, and then I'm what? Still inside. Well, I tried to get help. Yeah. And did this man, Oswald, did he walk away or did he run away? After he shot Mr. Tippett, yes. he did not run. He did not run. He, he seen me. Yeah. Stop. And looked at me with a gun. Yeah. And then did he walk? And, and after he stood and looked at me, he turned and ran, and that's when I ran to Mr. Tippett. Oh, he did run at that point? After, yeah. After Which way did he run? Down, uh, across path. Yeah. He ran across Patton down towards uh, Sangs Boulevard. Mm hmm He sure did. I told the police and said. You told them that also? Yes, and they went down there and found the Texas Theater. I see. Did he run toward the Texas Theater? He ran that, in that direction. How far uh, did this shooting take place from the Texas Theater? Oh, quite a few blocks. I'd say three to four blocks. I see. And you went over to Officer Tippett then? Yes, sir. Did you have a chance to talk to him? Yes, sir. And did he say anything? Uh, yes, sir. He tried to talk to me. He could not uh, get it out plain enough for me to see, you know, to hear him. Yes. And I was trying to hear him. He knew I was there. I see. He didn't know you were there. Yes, he I tried to call in on the radio for him. Oh, and did you call in on the radio? I tried to. And what happened? Well, I just didn't know how. I was in the hysterics and screaming. They heard me screaming. Who, on the radio, you mean? Yes, they did. 
And did, uh, did you stay with Officer Tippett until the police arrived? I certainly did. You did stay there? I was there when they put him in the ambulance. I saw him by the last and saw him alive. Yes, sir. I see. I went, went until they closed the ambulance door on my face. I see. And then they questioned you, the police they, questioned they, you when they arrived? Uh, yes, sir. They, I told them I was, I saw him. And they asked you, and you told them just about what you told me now? I told them, yes, sir. But they didn't ask for any physical description of Oswald at that time? No, only his clothing. Just his clothing? Yes, sir. And you said it was a gray shirt and dark oh, pants. Oh, no gray shirt. I a gray, I'm sorry, gray jacket. And uh, I went to Mr. Tippett. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. and I went after they take him off. Yeah. I got in the police car with the police. We went down to the police station. With, yeah. And I didn't have, see him no more. They wouldn't let me, and I didn't want to see him. They wouldn't let you see Tippett anymore? Uh, no, they wouldn't let me see uh, uh, Oswald anymore. They wouldn't let Oswald see me. They would not. I didn't want to. When was the next time you saw Oswald? The next time I saw him? Yeah. I never saw him after. You saw him in the lineup once, is that right? That's all. Yeah, who was in the lineup with him? I mean, how many people? Four. There were four others or four including him? Uh, I believe there was, uh, see, four including him. Four including And what did the other three people look like, do you recall? Well, I do one of them. Yeah. The first one came out. He was kind of light, headed. Kind of bald looking, mm -hmm. had on a blue sweater, light blue sweater, just a little light blue slip over sweater, no sleeves in it. Yes. And uh, clean looking. Yeah. And the, I was, and then the other two didn't look so good. You know, the other three didn't look so good. I see. I took my time. Of course, I was, you know, passing out all the time. Yeah, I know. You were very upset at that time. Yeah. Of course. I, I see. Mean, you, you, were, you must have been terrible. I mean, you never saw anyone killed before, right? Never in my life. So you must have been terribly upset uh, at that time. Do you think that it's possible that you might have made a mistake no. in terms of identifying Oswald? I, I, no, I, I, no, no. You were not that upset? No, because I had to be sure. They want to know right, right now, you know, if I knew. When the quick to get out. Yes. I said, I've got to be sure. I want to be sure. Yeah. So, and I had him to turn him, you know. Yeah. And they turned him, and it was him. Yeah. I could see him, because I looked right in here. Yeah, well, you saw him for a little while when he came walking toward yeah, you, right? Yeah, it was right in his eyes. It was him. Yeah. What color eyes did he have? Do you recall? No, it was so far. It was too far from me for that. How far was how was how far was he when he shot Officer Tippett from you? Oh, from me? No, oh, I'm not a good judgment at how many feet, but it wasn't too far from me. <laughs> well, was it? I see. Was it the, across the street? Katie cornered across the street. I'll tell you. Yeah. Tenth and Patton, uh, it was a second house on Tenth and Patton on the left hand side. Yes. In front of 408, I believe it is. Big white house. Uh huh. And you were catty corner. Were you about 100 feet away, would I'd you say? That. Hmm? I'd say about that far. About 100 feet. Uh, yeah. And then how close did Oswald come to you? Right across the street. He was across the street when he came toward you? Yes, sir. And you saw him coming at that time? Yes, sir. And you had a chance to, to look at him as he came? Yes, sir. Well, I couldn't move. I was afraid to move. And I froze because I was afraid he would shoot. Yeah, but he didn't shoot you. No. But did he Did he look at you? Yes, sir. And he saw you there? Yes, sir. And you saw nobody else on the street at that time? No, sir. And did you see anybody in the store windows or windows any place? See, sir, there's no stores there. There are no stores there? It's a uh, residence. I see. And did you see anybody in any windows? Yes, sir, after it was over. But not at the time? No, they wouldn't even come out and help me in the night after it was over. Even after it was over, they didn't come out? Not until the police. The ambulance came first and the policeman came. I see. How long would you say it was after the shooting until the first person came out? About 20 minutes before... 20 minutes before anyone came out? Yes, sir. And the officer was in the car uh, dying all of that time. On the ground dying. On the ground. Yes, sir. Me where was, where was he shot, do you recall? Yes, sir. In the head, uh, above his eyes, and in his chest. In his head and in his chest? Yes, sir. That's two shots. Well, twice in the head. Twice in the head and once in the chest. Yes, sir. Yes. Did you uh, see what kind of a gun uh, this was? No. no. I well, don't which you were uh, on one side of the street, and then the police car was at one time between you and Tippett and Oswald, right? That's right. And when the shooting took place, Oswald and Tippett were standing behind the police car from your side. No, Tippett was on my side of the car. You know, I was on the same side as Tippett was on. You were? Yes. And which side was Oswald on? He was on the... The other side? The other side. He was behind the car when he was No, shooting. he was in the front. He walked to the 
front wheel of the car. He shot him across the hood of the car. He shot him across the hood of the car? Yes, sir. And did Tippett take out a gun or anything at any time? Yes, sir. And I didn't know that he had his gun. Yeah. But uh, when this, they got that, they rolled him over and got him. And he had a gun out already? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Well, uh, have you seen pictures of Oswald since the time? I mean, since he was killed? And I guess you've seen him on television and pictures in the newspaper. Uh, uh, one time I've seen Oswald. In pictures? In pictures of which the detectives brought to see me, show me. When was that, before you identified him? No, sir. That was after you identified after him? After he was killed. After Oswald was killed, they brought you pictures? Yes. Did yes. they ever show you any pictures before he was killed? No, sir. No. So the only two times you saw him were on the street and once in the police lineup. Right. Yeah. That's all I want to say. I, I understand. Uh, uh, sure do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well. Well, is there anything else that you know about this? Not a thing. I'm just telling you what I saw. Yeah, I, I don't know that. I mean, is there anything that you left out that I, I wasn't skillful enough to ask about? Or do you think you've told me everything? I, I think told? I've told you. Yeah. Did the, uh, you talk to the FBI about the case at all? Yes, sir. Detectives, FBI, Secret Service men. Yeah. Has anyone told you not to discuss the case with the general public? I do not. Did anyone tell you that? Uh, yes, sir. Who told you that? Uh, well, detectives and all of them. And uh, for my own good, I don't because I don't want to, you know, get involved in nothing. I understand. Did, did FBI agents tell you it's best not to discuss the yes. case? They did. Yes. And did Secret Service agents tell you it's best not to discuss the case? Yes, sir. And did the Dallas uh, detectives tell you it's best not to discuss the case? Yes, sir. And so you've really not discussed the case very much, have you? Nobody. Have you told any reporters about anything? Well, one. They weren't me today. Yeah, I'm sure they were after you because they you're were. a very important witness. Uh -huh. uh, did any of the reporters, uh, did you tell any reporter that uh, the person who shot, Oz, uh, shot Tippett was short? stocky and had bushy hair. I did not. You don't remember telling it, because one of the reporters reported that in the newspaper. Did yes, I read that. You read that. What paper was that, do you recall? Um, uh, I believe it was in the Herald. The, the Herald? I believe, uh, it might have been the news. It was one of the Dallas papers, huh? Yes, sir. And do you know what day that was? No, sir. That was shortly after, though, wasn't it? Yes, sir. They gave my address, name, everything. Yeah, and they had you quoted as saying that he was short, stocky, and bushy hair. Well, it, that is not right. And that's what they said, though. I know. They put anything in the papers. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. Do you remember which reporter that was? I remember a reporter coming here. Yes. To eat well, which was, I didn't know who he was. He was from Paris, France. Yeah. And I don't know who he was, and I wasn't going to talk to him because I was scared, but my boss said, talk to him, and said it would be all right for me to talk with him. Yeah. So I scared. My boss stayed right with me until he got through. I see. And but I he was the only he was the only reporter you talked to. Uh, no, one more. From one of the Dallas papers. Uh, yes, I believe. Uh huh. But there were several come in from New York, all over. Yeah. They just worried me to death. How many FBI agents would you say told you not to discuss this case with anyone? Oh, uh, I'd be afraid to say it was several of them. Several. Yes. Sir. And how many Secret Service agents told you not to discuss the case with them? Well, there was two or three of them. Two or three of them. But how many Dallas detectives told you not to discuss the case with any, anyone else? Well, I'd say there's four or five of them. Four or five detectives. So a lot of people have told you that, and you generally have not discussed the case with them. I have not. Is that right? Did and, you, did you uh, sign any affidavit besides uh, the one affidavit that you signed? I haven't signed it. Yes, sir. I had signed one for the Secret Service. You signed one for the secret. And what did that say? Do you recall? Same thing they did down on the uh, city hall. Please. I beg your pardon? It was a, it's just like the one I gave the policeman down I see. Side. I see. The same, uh, just about the same affidavit. When did you sign that one? Yeah. Oh, it was after, Mr. after Oswald got killed. Well, after he was killed? Yes, sir. The secret Service didn't ask for an affidavit from you while he was alive. Is that right? Uh, yes, sir. Well, they didn't have time. Yes, I know. Everything happened so Quick. so very quickly, yeah. Well, uh, I want to thank you very much for your cooperation, and I, uh, I'll make notes about the things yes. that you've told uh, me. Well, yes, and you don't think I'll have to go up here, do you? To Washington? No, to court up here. To court? I don't, uh...
I, I'm, I can't tell you because I'm not in any way involved in that Ruby case. I'm just involved in the other case. But I don't, frankly, off, off the cuff without studying the matter, it doesn't seem to me that anything that uh, you saw is related to uh, Ruby and Oswald. No, I hope not. Yeah. I don't want to go up there. But I can't, you know, I can't make that decision. That's for the lawyers down there who are trying that case. And you're going to Washington, then? Yes, I'm, I'm investigating the case uh, oh. from an independent viewpoint to see what facts I can get. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to uh, testify in Washington tomorrow oh. as to everything, not tomorrow, I'm sorry, a Wednesday, mm -hmm. as to everything that I have uh, been able to uncover. I want to thank you because you've been uh, extremely cooperative and very helpful. Thank and, you uh, very much. And I need any more thing else with this? Tell me I've come down. I, I, perhaps I will come down to talk with you. Uh, I wish you would. Fine. Thank you very much, Ms. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.